under the gaze of Mary. Total consecration to Jesus through Mary. The 25th day. A reading from True Devotion to Mary, numbers 213 to 225. The wonderful effects of this devotion. My dear brother, be sure that if you are faithful to the interior and exterior practices of this devotion, which I will point out, the following effects will take place in your soul. First effect. By the light which the Holy Ghost will give you through his dear spouse, Mary, you will understand your own evil, your corruption and your incapacity for anything good. In other words, the humble Mary will communicate to you a portion of, of her profound humility, which will make you despise yourself, despise nobody else, but love to be despised yourself. Second effect. Our Blessed Lady also will give you a portion of her faith, which was the greatest of all faiths that were ever on this earth, greater than all the faiths of the patriarchs, prophets, apostles and saints put together. Third effect, this mother of fair love will take away from your heart all scruple and all disorder of servile fear. Fourth effect, our blessed lady will fill you with great confidence in God and in herself because you will not be approaching Jesus by yourself but always by that good mother. Fifth effect. The soul of our Blessed Lady will communicate itself to you to glorify the Lord. Her spirit will enter into the place of yours to rejoice in God, her salvation, provided only that you are faithful to the practices of this devotion. Sixth effect. If Mary, who is the tree of life, is well cultivated in your soul by fidelity to the practices of this devotion. She will bear fruit in her own time, and her fruit is none other than Jesus Christ. Seventh effect. By this practice faithfully observed, you will give Jesus more glory in a month than by any other practice, however difficult, in many years. Litany of the Holy Ghost, for private devotion only. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Father, all-powerful, have mercy on us. Jesus, eternal Son of the Father, Redeemer of the world, save us. Spirit of the Father and the Son, boundless life of both, sanctify us. Holy Trinity, hear us. Holy Ghost, who proceed us from the Father and the Son, enter our hearts. Holy Ghost, who art equal to the Father and the Son, enter our hearts. Promise of God the Father, have mercy on us. Ray of heavenly light, have mercy on us. Author of all good, have mercy on us. Source of heavenly water, have mercy on us. Consuming fire, have mercy on us. Ardent charity, have mercy on us. Spiritual unction, have mercy on us. Spirit of love and truth, have mercy on us. Spirit of wisdom and understanding, have mercy on us. Spirit of counsel and fortitude, have mercy on us. Spirit of knowledge and piety, have mercy on us. Spirit of the fear of the Lord, have mercy on us. Spirit of grace and prayer, have mercy on us. Spirit of peace and meekness, have mercy on us. Spirit of modesty and innocence, have mercy on us. Holy Ghost, the Comforter, have mercy on us. Holy Ghost, the Sanctifier, have mercy on us. 
Holy Ghost, who governs the church, have mercy on us. Gift of God, the Most High, have mercy on us. Spirit who fillest the universe, have mercy on us. Spirit of the adoption of the children of God, have mercy on us. Holy Ghost, inspire us with the horror of sin. Holy Ghost, come and renew the face of the earth. Holy Ghost, shed thy light into our souls. Holy Ghost, engrave thy law in our hearts. Holy Ghost, inflame us with the flame of thy love. Holy Ghost, open to us the treasures of thy graces. Holy Ghost, teach us to pray well. Holy Ghost, enlighten us with thy heavenly inspirations. Holy Ghost, lead us in the way of salvation. Holy Ghost, grant us the only necessary knowledge. Holy Ghost, inspire us in the practice of good. Holy Ghost, grant us the merits of all virtues. Holy Ghost, make us persevere in justice. Holy Ghost, be thou our everlasting reward. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, send us thy Holy Ghost. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, pour down into our souls the gifts of the Holy Ghost. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, grant us the spirit of wisdom and piety. Come, Holy Ghost, fill the hearts of thy faithful and enkindle in them the fire of thy love. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful Father, that thy divine spirit enlighten, inflame and purify us that he may penetrate us with his heavenly dew and make us fruitful in good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, thy Son, who with thee, in the unity of the Spirit, liveth and reigneth for ever and ever. Amen. Litany of the Blessed Virgin Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Ghost, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother Most Amiable, Pray for us. Mother most admirable, pray for us. Mother of good counsel, pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Saviour, pray for us. Virgin most prudent, pray for us. Virgin most venerable, pray for us. Virgin most renowned, pray for us. Virgin Most Powerful, pray for us. Virgin Most Merciful, pray for us. Virgin Most Faithful, pray for us. Mirror of Justice, pray for us. Seat of Wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our Joy, pray for us. Spiritual Vessel, pray for us. Vessel of Honour, pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion, pray for us. 
mystical rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of Ivory, pray for us. House of Gold, pray for us. Ark of the Covenant, pray for us. Gate of Heaven, pray for us. Morning Star, pray for us. Health of the Sick, pray for us. Refuge of Sinners, pray for us. Comforter of the Afflicted, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. Queen of Angels, pray for us. Queen of Patriarchs, pray for us. Queen of Prophets, pray for us. Queen of Apostles, pray for us. Queen of Martyrs, pray for us. Queen of Confessors, pray for us. Queen of Virgins, pray for us. Queen of All Saints, pray for us. Queen Conceived Without Original Sin, pray for us. Queen Assumed Into Heaven, pray for us. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Queen of Peace, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant unto us, thy servants, we beseech thee, O Lord God, at all times to enjoy health of soul and body, and by the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, when freed from the sorrows of this present life, to enter into that joy which hath no end, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Ave Maris Stella Hail, bright star of ocean, God's own mother blessed, ever sinless virgin, gate of heavenly rest, taking that sweet Ave, which from Gabriel came, peace confirm within us, changing Eva's name. Break the captive's fetters, light on blindness pour, all our ills expelling, every bliss implore. Show thyself a mother, may the word divine, born for us, thy infant, hear our prayers through thine. Virgin all excelling, mildest of the mild, freed from guilt, Preserve us, pure and undefiled. Keep our life all spotless. Make our way secure. Till we find in Jesus joy for evermore. Through the highest heaven, to the Almighty Three, Father, Son and Spirit, one same glory be. Amen. St. Louis de Montfort's Prayer to Mary Hail Mary, beloved daughter of the Eternal Father. Hail Mary, admirable mother of the Son. Hail Mary, faithful spouse of the Holy Ghost. Hail Mary, my mother, my loving mistress, my powerful sovereign. Hail, my joy, my glory, my heart and my soul. Thou art all mine by mercy, and I am thine by justice. But I am not yet sufficiently thine. I now give myself wholly to thee, without keeping anything back for myself or others. If thou seest anything in me which does not belong to thee, I beseech thee to take it and make thyself the absolute mistress of all that is mine. Destroy in me all that may displease God. 
root it up and bring it to naught. Place and cultivate in me everything that is pleasing to thee. May the light of thy faith dispel the darkness of my mind. May thy profound humility take the place of my pride. May thy sublime contemplation check the distractions of my wandering imagination. May the continuous sight of God fill my memory with his presence. May the burning love of thy heart inflame the lukewarmness of mine. May thy virtues take the place of my sins. May thy merits be my only adornment in the sight of God and make up for all that is wanting in me. Finally, dearly beloved mother, grant, if it be possible, that I may have no other spirit but thine to know Jesus and his divine will, that I may have no other soul but thine to praise and glorify God, that I may have no other heart but thine to love God with a love as pure and ardent as thine. I do not ask thee for visions, revelations, sensible devotions or spiritual pleasures. It is thy privilege to see God clearly. It is thy privilege to enjoy heavenly bliss. It is thy privilege to triumph gloriously in heaven at the right hand of thy Son and to hold absolute sway over angels, men and demons. It is thy privilege to dispose of all the gifts of God just as thou willest. Such, O heavenly Mary, the best part which the Lord has given thee and which shall never be taken away from thee and this thought fills my heart with joy. As for my part here below, I wish for no other than that which was thine, to believe sincerely without spiritual pleasures, to suffer joyfully without human consolation, to die continually to myself without respite, and to work zealously and unselfishly for thee until death, as the humblest of thy servants. The only grace I beg thee for me is that every moment of the day and every moment of my life I may say, Amen, so be it, to all that thou art doing in heaven. Amen, so be it, to all thou didst do while on earth. Amen, so be it, to all that thou art doing in my soul, so that thou alone mayest fully glorify Jesus in me for time and eternity. Amen.